What's up guys, Quinn with 74 Weld out in Big Bear and shooting some content and figured I'd give a quick rundown of our steering rack solutions for your Bronco and also Bronco Raptor and now Ranger Raptor. So I figured it would be good to have all three of them sitting here and then we can talk about them because we have stage one, stage two, and stage three. And I think if we just call it stage one, stage two, stage three, nobody really understands fully what that means. So the point of this video is to draw some distinctions and then I'll dive into my thoughts and recommendations because I will actively talk people out of stage three and into stage one, depending on your situation. Okay, so diving straight into stage one, what does that mean? This is our cap and bushing. And it is, I say this as a Band-Aid fix to a bigger problem. And I don't want that taken as, oh, it's garbage or it's junk. Um, if you are doing mild trails and you're on 35s, maybe you put a 37 on, but you don't do hard rocks like we have right behind us. Um, I think that a stage one for the avid overlander adventurer is probably fine. What this does is it gives support. So you have a linear bearing that rides, sorry, you have an angular contact bearing that rides on a linear bearing right here. That's your only point of stability on the factory rack with the exception of a plane bearing and a load bolt on this side. And if you wanna know all about the factory rack, we'll link a video down below on a deep dive into this platform. So stage one is we give you a cap that has an oil impregnated bronze bushing inside of that that adds some stability to the passenger side of the rack. And then on the driver side, we did kind of an interesting, a different take than anybody else has on this, which is we do two different types of materials in a bushing that slides and taps into this side of the rack to try to stabilize and give a little bit of additional support on the pinion. So the materials we use is we use a UHMW plastic. It's ultra high molecular weight and inside of that UHMW is an oil impregnated bronze bushing. And the reason for those two combination of materials is UHMW has very, very good impact resistance. So that's what typically you're gonna find on the skid plates of all Ultra 4 vehicles. You can smash into UHMW and it will smear, it will not crack. Um, it's a common misconception that Delrin is the best plastic out there or acetyl. And the problem with it is while it's very strong, it does not have good toughness to it. So it will crack. And we've seen racks with cracked bushings and we've seen racks that have been broken with an acetyl bushing on the pinion side. And so we do a softer plastic with the wear resistance of oil impregnated bronze that's our stage one kit. It comes fully with instructions. It's a pretty easy install. You pull tie rods. You do not have to remove the rack from the vehicle. So this is by far the easiest install. Um, and you can find out more info on our website about that. So we'll transition over to the middle. So here we have an empty housing and you're gonna scratch your head and go, okay. So this is our stage two and this is specifically meant for Bronco Raptor. And Bronco Raptor, you already get the higher torque motor of the Haas 3.0. And so there's no need to do a whole rack swap. So what you do is you either tackle this yourself, and we have detailed videos on this, but you will take the guts out of your existing rack and put it into our rack housing, and now you have the best possible rack that money can buy. This will not let you down. So a good buddy of mine with a Ranger Raptor gutted his steering rack, put it into our housing. This was a year, a year and a couple months ago. 
uh, right after the Pacific Northwest uh, Overland Expo, he went out on a five day trip. He was traveling at about 25 miles an hour in the dust and hit a tree. And he hit the tree with his passenger front tire. He hit so hard that it ripped the steering wheel out of his hands. Steering wheel burned skin off of his forearm, came to a dead stop. Now, if he was running factory tie rods, I would bet my money that those things would have snapped, but he had RPG tie rods on there that run a Heim joint steering. Those are not going to fail. Um, and in that case, dead stopped a vehicle at 25 miles an hour. The tie rod did not break. Our rack did not break. And he sends me a photo and his steering wheel is off by 90 degrees. And he goes, I don't know what I did, but I did something bad. And so he went back into camp and realized that the lower A arm had completely shifted, throwing his alignment out of whack. And so there's cam alignment bushings on your lower A arm that help you align the vehicle. Those were completely blown out. He took it in the next morning into a shop in town, realigned the vehicle, no damage to our steering rack and continued on on the trip. So if you have a Bronco Raptor, this is your bulletproof solution. You can still do a stage one on the Bronco Raptor. The stage two is just for Bronco Raptor. So then I'll dive into our stage three. And so this here is a complete replacement steering rack for your Bronco. And we also now offer these for Ranger Raptor. So both the Bronco and the Ranger Raptor come with the, call it the Haas 2.0, which is a steering rack that works fine for a 33 inch tire, maybe a 34. And after that, it starts kind of, it starts losing torque. And so it just doesn't produce enough power. If you have 37s with a 2.0 and you go out to Slick Rock, you will stall your steering out and you just kind of lose steering. So our stage three is a Haas 3.0 that we gut, so we buy a rack from Ford Performance. We gut the rack, we put it into our housing, we program the rack, we stick it in a box, and it's plug and play. So take your old rack out, dump ours in. There is no programming needed. It works in any model of Ford Bronco. And now we have an option for Ranger Raptor. Ranger Raptor is different because that Raptor model has steering modes. So you can have comfort, normal, or sport. And so we're able to accommodate that on the programming side of it. So two different products, they look the same, but Ranger Raptor and regular Bronco are slightly different on the stage three when it comes to the electronics, but both of them are strictly plug and play. So take your rack out, sell it on eBay, sell it on the forums, do whatever you want with it. We don't want it back as a core. We give you a whole brand new rack and you drop this thing in, hook it up, plug in your connector and you're done. Any other questions on these three products that we have in front of us, drop them in the comments. I will answer them and we'll see you on the next one.